there is a renaissance that's beginning to emerge. We're only at the beginning of it and I'm excited to see where it goes. And then COVID happened. And from COVID, I've just felt like there's this like, this need, this like energy for this re-emergence, this re-evaluation, this rebirth, reawakening. I wanted to really capture that through this show. The parallels between, you know, uh, the bubonic plague of the early Renaissance days to like now. It's just like, I'm thinking about thematically in terms of Renaissance, images of like textbooks and maps, slideshows that you see when you're like in high school or college and learning about like the timelines and stuff. In a way, I'm creating like a mini timeline within our show of like, you've got the Danielle Dior's who has been in this industry in Portland, you know, since before I was born. Maybe some people in the audience haven't seen that long ago, but you know, it is 2022 and time has moved forward. Like people don't know what the underground is anymore. All the way down to Bam and the Super models and gem fatales. You've got like these different people from these different moments of time in history who each are presenting their own modern presentations. Inherently, it comes from their own lived experiences. I don't know, I think it's just really cool to kind of see like this timeline of performers like around the table too, like in my little image of the Last Supper. Something that I've been advocating for since I started. Like that classic line of like, everybody deserves a seat at the table. And that was another reason why I wanted to choose this Renaissance painting. And you see a lot of representation on this table. You think back to when the Bible was rewritten by whoever that king was. And you think about like all like the whitewashing and the hetero washing. You just think about all the queer life that was silenced in this interpretation of this religious belief system. You know, you think of like the washing out of people and races and ethnicities and two spirit and, and gender expression and identity and sexualities. Um, I think it's really powerful to look at this image and yeah, it's like a silly kind of like a silly thing to see all these like local performers like cut and paste it onto this famous Renaissance painting. You look at the original painting and you see the Last Supper scene. Jesus was breaking the bread and sharing the wine to his little apostles, his little crew, his little homies. He was like, y'all, one of you is gonna betray me divas and when you do, I'm gonna die. And everyone was like, not me. But then Judas was like, and then he ended up doing that. I love it because I'm in the center holding up my phone, taking a selfie, and it looks kind of like I'm like taking a selfie with like everyone, or like these people on the side of the table and the other people on the side of the table. And I think that's just like a celebration. Like we've made it to this table. We're here at this iconic scene, creating an iconic moment in time that has representation across the board. Imagine like hundreds and thousands of years from now, like somehow this little image pops up as like a Portland history thing. Maybe someone will see back then like, wow, look at these queer people. Look at these BIPOC people. Look at this brown girl living their lives here in Little Portland, Maine. I think it's magical.